okay now starting the task 2 of the same paper so we have to use information from the task 1 and so what's going to happen in this part is we have to ensure that all the slabs are between 20 to 100 okay so they are not fewer than 20 or they are not more than 100 okay so they have to be between in this range and you know just the tricky part I think of this paper is only this so you have to make sure that if the user inputs um, you know any number that is not a multiple of 20 so you have to round it up to the next nearest multiple of 20 and you have to display the price based on the orders what uh, the number of orders that the user places so again a bit of explanation for this so the order count has to be between 20 to 100 okay so the check is going to be this so if um, order is less than 20 or orders are greater than 100 then you will show some error okay I'll show you in the pseudocode and in the Python code as well. Now, this the tricky part is that it has to be only multiples of 20. So, what are multiples of 20? So, 20 itself, then 20 into 2 is 40, then 60, then 80, and so on. Okay, so these are all the multiples of 20, simple mathematics term. But if you have, so for example, if the user enters, um, let's say 65. Okay, so I already have an example here. So, if I divide it, so 20 into 3 is 60 and the remainder is 5 now the formula that you'll use here to sort this part out is this so you'll use you'll, you'll add the order count with the modulus of the order count with 20 and the answer will be subtracted from 20 now what is modulus uh, if you have never heard of modulus which is you know bad news since you're doing CS already um, modulus is basically this remainder okay so if there is x modulus y then the, the it basically means if you this, this is your y so sorry this is your uh, this is your x this is your y okay and this is the answer so this is the modulus answer so in our case this is 5 so this returns me 5 and if I subtract it by 20 so I'll get 15 and original orders were how many so I input it 65 so I get 65 plus 15 which gives me um, 80 now if you divide by 20 so that is 4 so this is basically how you find the nearest multiple of any number okay so if they had asked you to find the nearest multiple of 10 you would have changed this to 10 okay and the logic behind this is that since you find the remainder so this is basically the gap okay the gap or the difference that is um, required to reach to the next um, multiple so you uh, subtract it from the original number okay and then you finally add it to the to the order count so this would take you to the nearest multiple of 20 this is the only tricky part okay back to the question paper and so what we have to do in this part is we have to display the order price for, for whatever orders that we mentioned as long as they are within the range and we have to um, print the order count sorry so I mix them so order price is going to be judged by the range of the order count so task 2 <coughs> okay so this is how we start the task 2 oh, by the way I just copy pasted the code for task 1 okay and I have also done the uh, this part on Python so again it's pretty much the same thing except for this part okay so I'm checking if the count is less than 20 or the count of order is greater than 100 then I say please enter it in within the specific range otherwise what I'm doing is I'm checking if the modulus by 20 so basically if I'm dividing anything by 20 and if the remainder is not 0 <coughs> which means that the number is not um, uh, divisible by 20 basically it's not a multiple so what I'm doing is I'm just repeating exactly what I told you in the previous um, part okay so I'm taking the modulus I'm subtracting it from 20 and then I'm just adding it to the count that would give me the nearest possible multiple of 20 and then the code is exactly the same yes it's exactly the same except for now I'm also taking into the function the count okay so it's before that we were just multiplying it by 20 but now we're not going to multiply it by 20 we are going to multiply it by count so whatever the user enters 
Okay, so again the same check. So I simply converted the Python code into the, into the pseudo code. So I'm inputting. So I'm using the savconf variable which I uh, initialized here to zero, and uh, I'm checking if it's in the range. If not, I show the error. Otherwise, I take the modulus by 20, and if it is not, so this is not equal to sign. Okay. Uh, okay, so this should be this. Okay. Be in pseudo code we use not equal to like this, but in programming we use it like this. And this should be then. So it's a you know a programmer mistakes because you know you're always fond of programming, but pseudo code is a bit different. So anyways, uh, so you get the slab count plus 20 minus the slab count with the modulus of 20. Again, exactly what I showed you before. This would give you the nearest multiple of 20. The checks are again the same. I did not change anything here. So the only thing that's changed is the rounded count. Yes. So this variable is rounded count now. Okay. So the nearest multiple of 20. <coughs> Now we have to find the uh, total based on that. So again, the grid price, the variables stay the same, the cases stay the same. But instead of 20 here, or uh, previously we had used slab count, a uh, slab count, I now use rounded count. Okay, and I simply multiplied with the grid price again. What was grid price? It was your uh, total volume of the shape divided by 100,000. Okay, so this is, represents 100,000, and I multiplied by 0 0.05. <coughs> Sorry. And I multiplied it by 0 0.05, like I'm like the question mentioned it here. Okay, so you have to keep this in mind. So this is how you calculate the price. Once I did that, I simply multiplied with the rounded count. Okay, so this is exact. This is literally the only uh, you know uh, the new thing that you had to change from question one. And in the end, instead of printing the um, the the other count, I'm just printing the rounded count and the total price of the slabs okay so you see here I was using price of 20 now I'm using total price because in question paper it clearly explicitly says that the variable names have to be you know self-explanatory and meaningful okay so always please keep that in mind so with this our task 2 is also finished and I'm just going to print that again I have done it in Python like I showed you before anyways now off to task 3. Task 3 is again just an extension of task 1. So what you have to do is so in this so before in task 1 and task 2 we had a fixed price for every 100,000 millimeter cube okay so that was 0 0.05 dollars but now in this case uh, the user can change the price okay so you can input 100 dollars, 1000 dollars, 1 dollar uh, it doesn't matter okay so there's no restriction on that and now the only new thing introduced here is a grade so you have two grades you have a basic grade and you have the best so if the user inputs basic grade it'll just get the you know the default value or the normal calculated value nothing new so just the the uh, price for <coughs> 100000 millimeter cube with the volume okay so that would be the total price but if he selects the best concrete so this is obvious that he'll have to pay more so what you're going to do is again so you'll do seven percent of the gray price and you'll add gray price to that okay so this is how you'll get the best price or the price of the best grade and we have to do this for 20 slabs okay so in this part we are not going to you know ask the user to input the slab count so we already have that and uh, if I go to the Python version of this so the only change that was required was here so the best rate and the um, sorry the basic and the best okay so that was the only thing and I'm also asking the user to please input the cost for 100,000 millimeter cube of Greek concrete okay which I did not ask before and this is what is going to be saved inside the cost for 100k um, yes so once I have the default grade price now I'll see that if if the grade selected is basic there won't be you know I won't be paying any more uh, 
money for that. Now, uh, but if I select the best grade, yes, I'll definitely have to pay se uh, pay seven percent more of the original value. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just using simple maths again. So I have the original grade price. I multiply the grade price with the best rate which is 7% or 7 divided by 100 which is 0.07% and uh, if the color is gray I multiply the best price by 20 okay otherwise again so it's going to be multiplied by 20 since the question didn't ask us to allow the user to enter the custom slab count uh, one thing worth noticing here is uh, if you see that if the user selects basic this best rate becomes zero here okay you get this so 0 multiplied by 0 is 0 so what you will be left with is this so your best price would actually be the grey price so this is just you know the only thing that you have to do here so if the user selects basic he'll pay the default price if he does not he will have to pay the price you know more price for that more money for that so this is exactly what happens here so if the best rate is 0 so this would become 0 and you'll be left with grey price if not then you'll pay the extra value over it so otherwise it's all the same so you, I, I, again multiplying the price by 20 to find the total price this is the 10 percent for the red green price and i'm adding the best price put to that which is coming from here okay again like i mentioned before if the best rate is zero this is automatically zero you only be paying the best uh, the, the default grade price for this part okay and if I go to its pseudocode yes so the pseudocode exactly the same thing is happening here uh, by the way I uh, since we only had to print out the slab count and the total cost of slab so I uh, I removed all the part of the dimensions okay this is taken from part one so you since you didn't since you didn't need to you know print the dimensions you you could take them away in part two but in part three they are again needed so we'll copy paste them as it is again so like this so if the grade is basic then so where is this grade coming from i asked the user this in the start so i asked the user please select grade basic or best okay if it is basic then the best rate is zero otherwise it is 0 0.07 and the grey price the f first grey price it, it's this this equation has been consistent from question one okay it's it's not changed at all so this is exactly the same thing now if for the to find the best price or the grade for uh, the best uh, sorry the price for the best grade so I'm again multiplying it the grey price the original price and I'm incrementing it with the 7% of the original price again the variables are the same so price of 20 is back because we are only going to print for 20 I multiply the slab count by the best price again the slab count is set to 20 in the start now okay so you should not make this you shouldn't make this mistake okay so this is really important or if you think you're prone to making errors you can just change it to 20 you multiply the best price again for red for green it's 10 percent and for the custom like the question mentioned before that you have to pay five dollar up upfront and then fifty percent more on the price of gray. So fifteen percent of the price of gray. So this is exactly that part, and you are adding the five dollar to it, and you're multiplying it by twenty to find the total slab count. And in the end, I'm just simply printing the slab color, the depth, the shape, the dimension, and the total cost. If I run the Python code, 